sort of a match if it has power. Well, that's not good. Yeah, seismic events on normal happen a lot like right here. And that can really weaken your cargo trucks and you end up spending a lot of time building new ones. Play these two, I might as well have docked and ready. Oop. Okay, since the power levels are minimal, or marginal, I have to go ahead and use up this one. I can go ahead and build a new one. I want to put you over here. Now a lot of this is trying to outrun volcanoes right now because with Plymouth you don't have to outrun the blights, so they had to add in something for Plymouth to outrun. Now personally if I were run you know trying to keep this colony surviving I would have built off of the lava plains. I also have to keep an ear out for those little messages. If you come over here, you can see the different things that are said. You'll only get a little beep on childbirth new, and uh, child death. You'll get to think about, you'll get the little thing when, a uh, little noise when the scientists are finished turning. Uh, how many scientists do I have right now? I have exactly 12 scientists, so I actually want a couple extra just in case. I've actually lost on this mission a few times because I've had a last minute scientific, scientist death. Power level's optimal. Communal rail trend is still negative. That's because of unoccupied colonists right now. Fabrics. Okay. Uh, go ahead and go in cybernetic teleportation because that's a huge part of the mission. Yeah, I, I had a scientist death, so uh, I pointed to the screen with my finger. I should have done it with the mouse, but oh well. Now, the token map is the basic uh, power producing structure. It is based off of real world technology. The token map that was being produced actually wasn't anywhere near the correct power output, so that project didn't work out too well. But uh, in this game, the Tokamak has a tendency to damage itself over time, so you have to keep an eye on it. Later on, you get better power structures that do not damage themselves. Uh, they just have different costs to them, and Tokamak is very cheap in comparison. Okay, I'm starting to fill up like crazy. What can I build? Build vehicle factory. That's going to take a good amount of that. Topics. Now, I like to... On this mission, you get a lot of extra research that you can do. It's not required. You're only required to do some basic stuff here. But I like to get as much done ahead of time as possible because you never know what you're going to run into later on in the game. I mean, you might have a sudden natural disaster that lands right on top of you and you spend so much time rebuilding that you don't have enough time to finish up research that would help you out. So having it built and ready is a very good thing. Whoops. Ah, clicking the wrong button. Uh, that was you. Electrical storms will damage anything that the lightning hits. There are meteors that come down every now and then. Volcanoes obviously will destroy anything in the lava's path. Uh, there are vortexes, which are tornadoes basically. Mobile weapons platform, that's important. Okay, right now I have all the columnists that I need for the minimum. I'll go ahead and check what I need. Okay. 32 trillion that's above. Okay, those are all above, I believe. Yes, they are. Okay, I gotta really watch out for those because those can ruin your day pretty quickly. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start loading up some of these cargo trucks. Now, if any other 
Outpost Universe members are watching this, they're probably going to be cringing at some of the stuff I do. Because I'm sure they understand these things a lot better, I know a lot better of what to do. Of course, uh, that's really hoping a lot to uh, hope that people actually watch this. I've actually been talking about doing a let's play for this game for a few years now with them, and I think they just got tired of hearing, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> that kind of fun stuff. Okay, true. I got enough food going on. Go ahead and load up another one. Build. You can go ahead and build the, the links. Now, uh, what, I sh what I showed you in the intro thing was Eden's unit reference, which had a laser weapon. This one has a microwave weapon, which is actually a much better weapon. As much as I need to admit that the two sides are, un are that heavily unbalanced. Okay, why is morale dropping that low? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, how about that? Okay. <laughs> I get very nervous about that one. Build. I need a robo miner. Oh, it's a miner. Oh. Okay. Uh, give much. I don't want to do uh, these two research. Uh, emergency response and health maintenance until the last minute because those can have a huge negative impact on the morale. Oh shit. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, I need to repair that though. Um, most of the structures have at least light armor. And this is light armor, this is light armor, light armor. Command center has heavy armor for reasons. Oh shit. <laughs> there you go, sending in the construction vehicle to repair that. And it didn't give me that, which means that's good. <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna get a little bit nervous on some of these earthquakes here. Okay, there's a scout. Build. Scout. Build it. Okay, I'm gonna keep one of them running on the ore run just in case. You want to keep one on this mission running the ore route after you get everything else that's built simply because your colonist growth rate might exceed the amount of time it takes you to finish everything up else up. So you'll end up needing to build another Okay. You might end up needing to build another evacuation transport. I oh that one's a powerful one. Move, 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 move. Okay, that lava is going to be pretty quick, so I need to be even faster. Uh, I gotta keep on top of the research as much as possible because, yeah, I already have to build another evacuation transport. And I don't have enough ores for it yet. Okay. Environmental physiology. That will be. That one increases the the amount of people that can stay inside of the residence, which is very helpful. Another one that I did was uh, hydroponic growing medium to increase food production at the agrodome. Okay, why are you disabled? Disabled by scientists. I hope I have enough still. No, I did not. Okay. Now this is where it starts getting a little bit more panicky because you're. I'm almost done. And already I'm having shit hit the fan. And I'm very nervous that that might hit there. This is going to be cutting it close. Health maintenance is luckily a very short one, but I'm very, very nervous about how close that pop is getting. Usually I'm a little bit better at this than this. Okay, and 
emergency response systems get going on that immediately. Oh shoot. Yeah, I'm about to board this one up. Okay, once that is destroyed, um yeah, I failed. So it's very easy to lose this game. As you can see here, there's no way I can recover from this. I just have to be faster next time. So I'm not even gonna bother saving this at this point. And as you can see, lava beat me. And it falls for lose. Once you lose, you can it just brings you back up to the menu. You don't have to worry about anything. But I don't want to try that again right now. I'm gonna go to mute for tonight and hopefully this was fun for you guys. And I'll well I won't see you, but you'll see me next time.